Hi, I'm the Boss Problem Buster, founder of the Pay Raise Commando, a senior organizational consultant of 24 years, having worked across cultures, industries, and ranks with 7,250 employees trained between us, my team and I. I'm also a social psychologist with a master's and a bachelor's degrees, both with honors. My team and I train past over corporate professionals like you to get that pay raise and promotion you're overdue for so that you can finally kill your Monday blues before you see further and bring your inner joy back, which is the best part of my job and the goal of this channel. Now, back to the salt mines. This first inconvenient truth bomb that I'm going to drop on you is one that is sure to surprise you and what it implies will probably upset you, but hey, we don't call them inconvenient truth bombs for nothing. So let's get to it. Inconvenient truth bomb number one about how to get a pay raise is pay raises are decided before you even step into your boss's room to ask for one. Isn't it incredible and totally counterintuitive? Indeed, here lies the key to a lot of your frustration regarding failing to get a pay raise, even when implementing, and very meticulously so, all the hacks and tricks you found online. And don't get me wrong, I'm sure some of them are excellent. The problem is they focus on the in-the-room ask, but 9 out of 10, that is not how the decision is made. If you think you can maneuver your boss into giving you a pay raise he or she does not think you deserve, just because you've learned the, the, the right things to say in the correct order and with a high self-esteem attitude to boot, you have another thing coming. This whole focus on the in the room salary negotiation talk with your boss misses on the myriad of crucial factors that come into play in the decision-making of whether you are granted or refused the pay raise you ask for. The point of this Inconvenient Truth Bomb video, however, is twofold. Once you can truly take both in, you can finally start turning things around from monetary failure to monetary success. The first point is to absolve you from the mental and emotional self-flagellation you have probably experienced after failing to get the pay raise you wanted, even though you've meticulously implemented said hacks and tricks. Now, if you've been following me, you know I do not absolve frequently or frivolously. On the contrary, I'm very big on assuming personal responsibility in regard to everything you do and do not do and the consequences that follow. So when I tell you this one is not your fault, trust me, it isn't. The second thing, the second point of this inconvenient truth bomb is to make you aware of the inherent core problem with the practice of focusing on the in the room talk with your boss, that is the ask. And the problem is pay raises are not decided in the room but before. So putting all your eggs in the hex and tricks basket for the in the room ask is investing your time and effort in the wrong place and at the wrong time. No wonder you have failed and if you keep on focusing there you're destined to keep on failing forevermore. Indeed, pay raises are not decided according to how skillful you are in presenting your case or in negotiating it per se. Of course, those skills are very important and can, and can absolutely up your game in many workplace situations so and other situations in life as a whole. So they are worth mastering, but if the first time you apply them, at all or in full or with extra preparation. So if the first time you apply them is in the room, at the time of the ask, it's too late. Those hacks and tricks regarding the ask itself are utterly useless when taught 
and executed as a standalone practice. They are only relevant and practical as last step tactics. They are the culmination, not the starting gambit. All of the main work to prove you're worthy of that pay raise should have been done beforehand, weeks and months and years prior. Thus, when your pay raise has been denied after focusing only on the ask itself, you can blame the experts and coaches who sold you this misguided focus, not your boss, nor your company. Furthermore, if you were diligent and thorough and consistent with doing all you should have done before ever stepping into that room, then your boss should have already been expecting you for some time even, wondering when you will make your move for the ask. And this is because when you are a true MVP, most valuable player, note I stress true MVP, i.e. not just in your mom's opinion, but a factual, provable MVP by the metrics that your employers, employer considers most then your employer won't let you go so easily. On the contrary, they will fight to keep you, meaning they will be willing to go a long way to give you what you want. They would consider this, your pay raise, as the price of doing business. So they will appease you as an MVP into a prolonged industrial peace within the company. This is especially true in competitive industry, which are the only ones we speak of anyway. Surely you can see now why I say a pay raise is granted or refused before you even step into the room. Indeed, when you do everything right beforehand, your pay raise is ripe for the picking. No hex or tricks needed. Moreover, in such a case, those hex and tricks may even be not merely, merely superfluous, but downright tacky. The only place, place hex and tricks may come in handy is the potential salary negotiation that ensues if your boss, acting as a representative of your employer, decides to play hardball thus making you sweat a bit over a period of some days or weeks as the two of you go back and forth on the exact sum of your salary raise and or other benefits. But even then, those hacks and tricks will account for maybe 5, 10, 20% tops of your success, whereas doing the needed work weeks, months, years beforehand, as we suggest, will ensure 95, 90 or 80% at the lowest of your success, respectively. This real work beforehand is what this channel will teach you. The non-hacky, non-tricky focus, but instead the sustainable, long-term, needed work beforehand. So the thing nobody else is teaching you. And we do this completely different focus to everybody else's because this is the only pragmatic and realistic focus that time and time again, without fail, dramatically ups your chances to actually get that pay raise. So the in the room hack E and trick E, focus of others versus our long-term establishment of your worth to make you organically considered eligible for a pay raise. Together with our non-hack E, non-tricky beforehand focus, it's like the difference between learning some pickup lines to hit on the ladies, which will work sometimes, but mostly not. 
they will get you rejected 95% of the time versus what we offer at the Paris Commando, which will get you at the very least engaged, not to be married, uh, but in a conversation, which is what you wanted. So, for the sake of this example, were we to train you for dating, we at the pay raise commando would be, instead of uh, teaching you kick-ass pickup lines, we would be developing your character, attitudes and behaviors as a man and as a person and giving you the tools for career success, which all put together makes you irresistible to the ladies with no need for tacky pickup lines that most of them hate anyway. See the difference there? If you'd like the full transcript of this video and all the videos on this channel, see the link in the description. It's on our website, bossproblembuster.com because it's too long to paste here, so not a trick to get you there. But if you do hop over, you'll find many practical reads and a forum where you can discreetly and anonymously ask us anything in regards to landing that promotion and pay raise to which we reply very quickly. Each video drops inconvenient truth bombs on you right, left and center, all very direct, pragmatic and very much non-PC. No fluff, no bullshit. So if you'd like to get a promotion with a pay raise or a pay raise independent of a, of a promotion, kill your Monday blues and bring your inner joy back. And if you can handle the truth, you can't handle the truth. I'm channeling Jack Nicholson. Then subscribe, give this video a thumbs up and hit the notification bell so that we can meet again.